Hello, welcome to the Stephen Neeson Show with you here live from the Scientology Community Centre here in Dublin, bringing you some of Ireland's most talented performers every Friday night. Tonight's guests are a very unique and talented family, originally from Arklow. It's two sisters and their man, each with their own career paths, but have now come together with their combined talents to forward their repertoire. These three talented ladies will amaze you as they perform to back in music, to piano, and sing a cappella. Mother of two very talented singers is Neve. For over 30 years, Neve has performed nationally and internationally as a songwriter, singer, and pianist. She's also a music teacher and choral director. She's played many challenging roles on the musical theater stage, winning Ames Awards for Best Singer and Best Actress. She was runner-up to represent Ireland in Eurovision with the hit song, Always You. Wow. Daughter Amy, since graduating from Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts, has worked on Broadway and the West End. After playing no less than two leading roles in the commitments at London's West End Palace Theatre, Amy then toured the UK and Ireland, playing the role of Natalie in Roddy Doyle's production. Amy's worked extensively here in Dublin, the UK, and the US. Her sister Leah graduated from GSA in 2014. Her performances in Ireland include Side by Side, Fiddler on the Roof, Songs for the New World, Rent, and Avita, for which she received an Ames Award for Best Actress. Leah appeared in several West End productions, including Sweeney Todd, The Clockmaker's Daughter, and The Play That Goes Wrong. She toured the UK as Imelda in The Commitments, and has recently returned from her Australian tour with the World of Musicians. Folks, get ready for a musical treat with Neve, Amy, and Leah Preston. Here they are.
This old house is falling down around my ears. I'm drowning in the river of my tears. When all my will is gone, you hold me sweet. Stars go. 
absolutely unbelievable. Leah, Amy and Neve to have a family on the stage and what can I say, that it's just pure talent and I could say to them how many years have they playing together. I'm sure it's since they were born they're here in music. <laughs> Welcome ladies and thanks very much for thank joining us. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Absolutely brilliant. Give us, like, who arranges the songs or have these just songs that have been in the family that you've, someone's already arranged or what way does? Some are arranged, they're famous arrangements and others are songs we just literally arranged around the piano. And we've been, like you said, singing for years. Yeah. So it's an organic thing and also homage to very famous arrangers and composers out there. Um, so is there treat a, as always. Is there a fight ever over the harmonies? Who does what harmony? Around Never. That? We or actually no. very luckily sit very much into our stations within the, within the harmonic. We yeah. know our place, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> That's like pretty unique, isn't it? Like you know, because especially sisters as well. Like you know, to, to to have the different. You're happy to sit in. You're the yeah. higher. Like you're so high, and <laughs> it's, it's it's unreal. Like you know. Sorry again, I'm getting mixed up. With, it's Amy, isn't Amy. it? Amy and Leah. Leah. Yeah. yeah. And Leah, okay. <laughs> Just for everyone else to know as well. Like you know, because yeah. you were confusing me earlier as well, mummy. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I got by either Amy or Leah. I answered to both. To be fair, at this stage. <laughs> That's the way it's gone. Tell us about the songs, anyway, in general, for picking them for doing shows, or even picking them for tonight. Is there a reason why you picked those particular? Songs so well, far? they're ones that we've kind of been singing for years, and we always try to include them in shows that we do. We find they go down well, and they do, they mean a lot to us. Um, it's they're ones that have been in our family for years, really. It's also lovely to find, like you said, that we've got quite we have quite different voice types. Now, we do blend obviously when it comes to it, but it's nice to find songs that kind of champion each of our voices. Well, try to, um, but uh, and it's also like, like you said things that we've been singing since we were children. And Mammy knows the words of them now at this stage, so... <laughs> much an iPad in sight. <laughs> <laughs> so, much Very more true. comfortable to perform. That's the, it's, not an iPad in sight. That's the way it's gone, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Really like, no. um, have you got any brothers? No. No, no. okay. So this, okay. <laughs> just, just, no. just thought of this for a moment. Boys, like, no. no. <laughs> you could have got the, the, bar, the, the really deep one coming in, like, you know. <laughs> And come here, it's not, you, it's the, the girls, it's not your first time on the stage. I know, Mammy, it's your first time on this particular stage, but you were here not so long ago with, with Virtuoso. Yes, yeah. we were. Yeah. We were here with uh, Virtuoso. Uh, shout out to our dear friend, Chris Curran. It's his birthday <laughs> it's today. Birthday. So it's his oh, birthday. Happy birthday, birthday, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. Um, so so we were here, it was around June, was it? Was May it or June? June? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that was the last time we were here, which is fantastic. Um, it was Really Less fun. of us this time. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's it's great to do your own thing as well. Like you know, as, mm -hmm. like and Chris was here only last week. Like you know, and he was with the Rock Tenors, and it was brilliant. It's great to see, like, because obviously there's a group. How many is in the virtual also? Ten. Well, Ten. now we have added. We have swings and covers, so I think there's about fourteen now. Yeah. It's great oh, to get a group together and then do your own things as well. Like, and I, that's, that's what we're saying. You have to kind of do in this this business, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And <laughs> um, tell us a bit about the acting, Mammy. Were you an actor? I am an actor, yes. I, I teach, so that's acting all the time. <laughs> Sorry, you said you didn't want to talk on the stage when I asked you just before we were talking, Stephen, will we talk between the songs? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. You told me no. If it's not I'm scripted, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Sitting down now, I'm relaxed. Yes, uh, we've all acted on stage. Um, we, Amy and I made our debut together, actually. Our very first show was The Sound of Music. And I, I, she was, I was Amy five. was five. I played Liesel. Well, Amy played sister. Gretel, and my mother played the housekeeper, Frau Schmidt. Um, Leah, a couple of years later, followed us on the stage. You were only a baba at that time. So we've literally grown up doing shows together. Um, and so we're, each of us have been involved in a number of various, you know, different um, shows. And, and uh, very fortunate to be involved in a premiere of um, Brian Burns' um, Angel of Broadway last uh, two years ago. And there's talk of that resurfacing again. And so... That's sort of me, kept busy now for a little while anyway. Ah, uh, no, it's great. <laughs> Can I ask you about a song that you are going to perform? I don't know if it's your first or second one next that's coming up. We were, you were, you're doing an a cappella song, like, you know? Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about that, like, you know? Um, well, that was written by our dear friend and mum's dear friend, Ian Byrne. Do you want to? Um, Ian is front man with um, the Kansas City-based um, trad, trad Celtic, Celtic rock, rock group, rock. Um, yeah. The Elders. And Ian and... Um, he wrote this song in honor of his father in the early noughties, um, and it's called Men of Erin, and it has been um, taken into the hearts of all the Elders fans around the world. They have many fans, and it, it's, they, it's, they've adopted it as their ballad. It, it connects everyone to the universe. It's just a universal song, and we started singing it a few years ago, and um, with their blessing, I'm glad to say. It's beautiful. A lot of their, a lot of their music kind of... Um, 
obviously comes from an, an old Ireland in, in times of, of the famine and, and when people needed to, to leave Ireland to go to America and the likes and sort of never really saw their families again. So it kind of, it kind of takes that story into account and how a child might feel leaving their parent behind. And yeah, it's, it's sad, but it's, it's got a hopeful kind of message and to take all the positive and all the wisdom that their parents gave them in their life in Ireland to bring forward to wherever they were going to give to their own children. And yeah, it's, it's a lovely you know, story. It really touches that, like mm. as you're saying, it, it has that even the melody of it. Like, you know, I studied traditional music of all different uh, countries around the world, like, you know, such like, you know, and that, that's why I heard straight away, like, you know. I mean, you told me Kansas City was, was yeah. where it was going to, like, and I was like, okay, really. Is it the first or second of the years are going to sing it? That's many the second like, song. Second one, so. yeah. Yeah. Folks, listen now for the second song. I'll let us go back on stage and then Thank come you. back to me and we want to get find out more and more about this. Thank you no. so Thanks a million for coming along. Yes, I really appreciate it. There you have it, folks. So that was a very quick, short interview uh, just to find out a little bit about the songs. But really, really want to dig deeper and deeper with the ladies to find out um, more about their backgrounds and about their history within the music scene and within theatre and the whole lot, which you've heard in the intro. So girls, take it away again. They thought they could dispose of me. They tried to make me small. I suffered each indignity, but now rise above it all. Yes, the price I paid was all I had, but at last I found release. And if something good can come from bad, the past can rest in peace. So if you see someone's hurt, Forget every man who I ever met Cause they only live to control For a kiss they'd pay a thousand Yet they'd pay fifty cents for my soul They took their peace, the price of fame That no one can repay Ah, but they didn't buy me when they bought my name And that is why I pray That when you see someone hurt or in need of a hand, don't forget me. Or hear a melody crying from some baby grand, don't forget me. When you sing happy birthday to someone you love, or see diamonds you wish were all free, please say that you won't. I pray that you don't forget me. There are some in this world who have strength of their own, never broken or in need of repair. But there are some born to shine who can't do it alone. So protect them and take special care. Take care! Faith and love by your 
sight. I will dream of your peace in the night. Please don't cry, my mother, as you sit by the heart. I will dance your memory with joy. As you go, brave men of Erin, faith and love by your side. I will dream of your peace in the night. Please don't cry, my father, as you sit by the hearth. I will dance your with joy in my heart, I will go now and pray as I travel this land and live by the lessons you gave. Fare thee well, my boy, as you wander this night. Be not feared in the darkness, my heart is your light. As you go, brave men of Erin, faith and love by your side. I will dream of your peace in the night. Please don't cry, my children. As you stand by my grave, I have danced your memories all of my days. I will go now and pray as I travel this land and live by the lessons. Don't you just love it? Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful singing, beautiful harmonies as we discussed that. And I'm delighted just to hear that song. And the fact that it's an original song as well, which is really, really unique. Ladies, it's, it's just, it's a brilliant song, like, you know, and for anyone out there listening, like, you know, if you haven't already plugged in the earphones or listened from your phone, I hope you did, like, you know, but um, it's, it's brilliant, like, you know, it's just, it's just fantastic, like, you know, to, to, to Ollie the Ian song. Ollie Inburn, like, you know? Ian yeah. Burn, and the yeah. wonderful. The elders, would you mind if I dedicated that to the memory of Steve Phillips? Steve Phillips was front man with the elders and his fans are worldwide and he, um, he left this world a year ago, okay. this month. So I'd just like to dedicate that song to Steve and all of the elders, thank you. Definitely, absolutely. Now, Mammy, I want to ask you a bit more about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Go no, easy, no, no pressure on that, you know. <laughs> the one at the Eurovision, like, you know. Oh. You know, yeah. you have to tell us about that, like that experience, oh, how you got there. I have so many questions about that. Like, and I have you to know what? Something. It was a wonderful experience. I was very young. It was 95. I thought I'd have a go. I was f of writing a song. And in those days, um, you would submit your song and it, it got through. There was a panel who judged it, the song. And I think 12 songs in total got through to the final. I was one of the fortunate ones. It didn't win on the night. It came second. The final was in the Cork Opera House. It's one of the most... Um, memorable nights of my life. I'll never forget it. I'll never forget the crowd that travelled up from Arklow that night. Um, you were in a, uh, viewing the event from a different platform, I as was, I remember. I remember. Amy, Leah was only a little baba. 
you were only one and a half or so at that time. Yeah, yes, I something think so. like that. So you didn't get to stay up and watch no. it. No, um, but it was great, great experience, and uh, I love the song. I love to sing it even to this day, and um, I, yeah. And the preparation for it, like, you know, once, like, was there, what was the time frame, just out of interest, when you found um, out you were going to be... It was one of those songs, literally, that took me a few minutes or a few hours to write. It literally wrote itself, and I recorded it in a local studio, Paul Barrett arranged, and um, hmm? it's called Always You. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, and it's, it's just a song about enduring love and friendship and someone always being there, no matter what you do, do you know, that kind of thing. Um, uh, it's... Um, the time frame, well, I remember it uh, was performed in April, if I'm not mistaken, and we just had a few weeks to run up to it and rehearse for it, and it was a great, exciting time in our life. You know, it, as I say, it didn't win the vote on the night. It came second, so we drove home a little disappointed, but what a great experience. I happy, though. Like I was only a young, a young woman. When you're submitting, did you have to record the song first to submit it? Or did I rec or did yeah, what, I recorded it, it first on my piano, and I gave it to an arranger. As I say, Paul Barrett, he arranged it, so he put... The the backing to it and then he scored it for the orchestra for the RTE orchestra oh, to play wow. that night then so I got to sing the song with an orchestra and the orchestra, the orchestra. <laughs> and it was a three minute long song it had to be timed to three minutes and I remember as the second verse was coming to an end I thought to myself oh no oh no it's nearly over oh no it's nearly over yeah. just enjoy the end of this just make the most of every second that's yeah. brilliant. And, and the piano, have you always been playing the piano yourself? Yes, yeah, I've been playing since I was very, very young. Um, seven years of age I started and haven't really stopped since. But, ah, sure, look, I don't play as much as I'd like to, but... Ah, yeah, but you, you, said, you were saying earlier that your, your mother sang as well. Was she an actress yes, as well? Yes, uh, mum played the guitar and sang. Mum and dad sang together in the home all the time. And you, you'll remember that. Pop still does. And girls, you'll remember mum singing. And, yeah, um, she was great. She sang from the heart. She's no, a good folk singer. It's it's no, it's brilliant. Like now, so girls, you were as young as seven as well, getting involved in the theater, the theater stuff as well. Like Singing now, since it, we came into the world. Since I think. we came into this, <laughs> since you were old enough to scream, it was in a nice key. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I did my first show with Mum when when I was five with Avonmore Musical Society, and we've all done plenty of shows with Avonmore down in down in our close since then. But then we kind of when we kind of hit sort of. 16 and 18, we decided to take it professionally, and we've been very, very lucky. Very lucky. Just a question, actually, when you were singing the a cappella song there, like, you know, is it the word pitch perfect? Have I got it right? Like, you know, when you're choosing the key and you're singing a song a cappella, like, you know, mm. are you pitch perfect? Like, you're, you're, yeah? I am consistently flat. <laughs> no, you're not. But I'm, I have relative pitch. So, no, not flat. I'm always a semitone under where I think I'm supposed to be. You're always bang on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I get it right, I'm very... I I'm have very to hear like a note or a chord or something to, to yeah, be able to do it. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah. I would say it's relative so pitch that's to... E. E. <laughs> There's an E. It's okay, don't... Okay. <laughs> yeah. See? Not bad. I pitch everything to metallic and nothing everyone? else matters. Can you, can you do it? Like, it doesn't matter what way... It's you, you, not you, you, trained you. that well. Um, I could, probably could do more work on it, to be honest. I was saying I pitch everything to metallic as nothing else matters. Bum, 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 bum. It's a nice little... There you there go. My e. There you are now. Wow. <laughs> I think of the Whatever e works Phantom. for you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just interesting to know, like, because I, I always, I'd always fear, like, you know, I've done it before. Like, started off a song, and I'm like, oh no, and it's too, it's too late once you start. Like, you know, how do you go especially back? Or do you too stop? High. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's too high. Like, this is it. Well, you see, ex the exterior might have looked calm opening up that song now, but inside my head, I was thinking from where, uh, yeah, I was paddling thinking back from where we left off and trying to find my notes. So, did I get it right, Leah? You did get it right, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I always remember when I was in college, there was, a, there was a girl and she was just like so, she had maybe a different mind with music, like, you know, and she used to be like wondering what the key of everything was, even mm. down to the point she was like, oh, I heard the, do the, the door close and it squeaked. I wonder what key that was. Like, you know, oh, I get like that. It, my, the horn in my car is uh, A flat. <laughs> See what I, I'm, <laughs> How do you know that? We were on a long journey home from a gig once, and I was like, I wonder what that is. <laughs> so the person behind me going, Did you what take out the tuner, or what? How did you figure out? Like, you know, no, I just, I just like you worked it out. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I'm you were one of those tune. girls. Was doing, yeah. oh, what have I done to them? <laughs> These were also saying about you've worked, you've worked together. As the three of you worked together on, on yes. a, a show as well, like Absolutely. As I know you've done the, but have you, have you acted as well together? Yeah, we have lots of the. What I'm actually trying to think. Oh, what would, oh the Adams family. We did the been. Irish premiere of the Adams family. And Leah, do you want to take us through the casting? Okay, right. Who was so, who? Who was who? So like, I yeah. played Morticia. <laughs> 
Amy played Wednesday, my daughter. <laughs> Mum played Wednesday's mother-in-law. And Amy's husband played the butler lurch. Okay. And, and Brian O'Gorman, mother's partner, played Gomez, my husband. And our mother's <laughs> sister played my grandmother. That's the one. <laughs> so that's the family Go tree. Go figure that one. <laughs> so, of the Adams family. Get that together. Who put that together? Now, say it like, back. Give a <laughs> test on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so that was with uh, Avonmore Musical Society. Uh, so that was, what year was it? 2014. 2014. 2014, it was the Irish premiere. So yeah, that was that. Was that. Awesome. that. It was yeah. fantastic. Fun. And that was the first one you used, used no, it together? No, we've done no, it before. No, we've done more. Do you remember uh, uh, Beauty and the Beast in the National yes. Concert Hall with Festival Productions? Uh, we, we all We've been kind of in and out. I mean, you did Hot Mikado when we were kids. Yeah. And you did Honk when we were... Yeah. Don't Loads. Too but many. But our first okay. big concert was uh, Forget Me Not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, forget me not. In the National Concert Hall in 2014, uh, we staged that concert in Hello? memory. No, no, no. Was it 14? 15, 2014. 15? Mum died in 2013. It was 14. Sorry, you're dead right. You're dead right. Yeah. Uh, we staged that in the National Concert Hall in memory of my mum, the girl's nan, um, to fundraise for Alzheimer's. My mum sadly uh, left us uh, far too young, the age of 67, from early onset Alzheimer's, and. Uh, that's where we put our energy into fundraising. So it was a fantastic concert. And it was a great yeah. success. We actually raised how much? I think it was ten and a half grand. But we got a we got I think it was close to a twenty six piece orchestra. Um, and and a fantastic cast of about twelve people who gave their time and talent for free to make it happen. We managed to fill the, the National Concert Hall and yeah, raised all of that money for, yeah. for the Forget Me Not and Alzheimer's Foundation. It was an incredible, incredible experience and people have been asking us uh, like, are we going to do it again? We're like, oh, <laughs> the stress. <laughs> but uh, no, it was it was absolutely incredible. So yeah, we had a lot of support from very good people in Auckland and all around and the country. All around the country. Around yeah. the country. Yeah. Very good. It was wonderful. The bus, the bus from Arklow. There was a bus from Arklow. Yeah. I think there, there were five, five buses. Yeah. buses yeah. I think five there were five buses, buses from Arklow. That's some support, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Brilliant, like, you know. Yeah. I'm not far up the road from you now. I'm only there two years, like, yeah. you know, but that, that's, that's brilliant, like, you know. The oh, Arklow is known, to, known yeah. to, to rival the Arklow people for their support Absolutely. of arts and, and music. Yeah, it's great. Even when I seen that the names were mentioned, and then your name was mentioned by a friend. I think it was, as I said, John Brian or whatever. And when yes. you were on the virtual also, and then the, the names were mentioned, it's like, oh, Mammy's a singer as well. And I was like, oh, she and I wanted to find out. We know John for years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. No, it's great support great for the music. You now it's great. Um, what else I was going to ask is, yeah, um, the accents and stuff like that, because uh, you were talking about doing the commitments together. It's two girls, like you know. Yeah. And <laughs> You do a Dublin accent. Well, you're living in Dublin now, are you? Are you all living in Dublin now? I'm living yeah. in Dublin. You're living in Dublin. And you're, you're soon to be living in Dublin. I'm soon to be living in Dublin. Okay. Uh, New Year, maybe. Okay, okay. And Mammy, where are you living? Sorry, I keep calling you Mammy Neve. Don't drum. <laughs> don't drum at the moment. So I'm sort of Dundrum. Dublin. I'm in okay, Dublin. yeah. I don't have the accent yet, though. <laughs> Did you just have to put on the commitments accent for the. the yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have it up a bit. It came like. out very naturally. Yeah. Like, pe our friends have told us we're the only people to leave Arklow, go to England, and come back. With, with a Dublin, Dublin accent. accent. <laughs> yeah, that's right, actually, what's going on there. Yeah. The, yeah. the company you're in, I suppose, isn't yeah, it? Like, absolutely, you know, yeah. absolutely, yeah. <laughs> well, that was a great time. It was a great time um, having the, both girls involved in the same production of The Commitments. It was a very fun. proud moment. I, can, I, don't, I don't mind saying. Yeah. Is, is that fundraiser probably the best gig you remember to, to doing together? together? Or, like, um, one it of them, it was one of the most emotional. My brother, Colm Kavanagh, also um, was the... MC. MC for the night. So it really was a family affair. My dad was sitting there in, in one of the first few, few rows looking up at us all. And uh, it, was, it was very emotional. So it was charged with more than just the musical performance, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It was, um, it, it was uh, an amazing night, memorable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely when it's, when it's sentimental to you. Yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to mean a lot mm -hmm. more. Like, you know, it's creating great memories, though, isn't it? Like, you know, that's what I always say. Like, you know, we've had a couple of charity gigs here, like, and you know, it's been fantastic. And I told you, we're hoping to get you back again. Like, you know, maybe <laughs> maybe close to Christmas. Like, we're we're, we're hopefully going to have one. Like, you know, I'd love yeah. to have you. Um, I also wanted to ask about like the the Bar Gosh Theatre, the, like the, the West End. Like, you know, what's what's the difference of? Tell me, like, I'm not, like There's going from one to yours. Are they all? Is it similar in Ireland than it is? Like, well, the Bar Gosh is one of the most incredible <laughs> venues to perform in. It's just. You it's could perform exceptional. in the dressing rooms and still make yeah. a profit. It's huge. It's, it's well, exceptional. Like it's it's a fantastic probably. venue. Um, with regards to comparison of, I mean, you, you get similar houses in the West End size-wise. Um, 
the support playing when we came back to Ireland with the commitments, playing the commitments to your Dublin audience. There was no it feeling was like that in the world. Almost before yeah. it was, and then we had our friends and family waiting outside. And it was it was the closest I've ever felt with a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> my God, it was like, but uh, yeah, there's something very very humbling about very, that. Very, very. It, it was very special. But in terms of, yeah, I mean, there's a there's a, a lot of marked differences. Obviously, the West End, you know, they they have that industry there, mm. whereas there's not as much of that particular industry here. Mm -hmm. Uh, not as much. There's fantastic industry here, mm -hmm. but it's uh, we just haven't had the opportunity to expand like we have had in the in the West End. But I I really do think all that's going to change. I, I, I have a feeling it's all going to it's all going to the talent in mm. this country. Like even since we started doing this show. By the way, this is I think one of the lads were sent to me. It's six months now yeah. today. We've been doing this show. Oh, so you've done the six Incredible. months. So I'm delighted to have someone like yourselves on because it's just it's it's amazing that the voice is coming from you. Like you know. And one of you was stuck in Australia recently or something oh. happened, which is, what's, what's going on there? Like? Yeah, no, uh, we were stuck for a little bit. I mean, they had to drag me back now, to be honest. <laughs> oh, drag you back, okay. Because yeah. you were going to um, be locked there or stuck there, were so, you? Like, well, it, it, what it, happened was we were so lucky that we did get to tour a little bit. So we, um, we obviously went over, we landed in Sydney. We had to do our two weeks hotel quarantine in Sydney, which was actually grand. <laughs> great. It was great. Was everything paid for? Uh, huh? Was everything paid for for the quarantine? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it was great. I, I caught up on all the, uh, the Marvel <laughs> saga. I caught up on the Marvel saga, so I was sorted for the party. Um, but then, so we went to Tasmania, to Hobart, which Tasmania is the most stunning place. So, so lucky to see Tasmania. And we got to perform to ball houses. And it was our first time performing since the pandemic. And completely normal out in Tasmania. They haven't had a case in like over a year, so they are back to normal. Um, full audiences smiling back. It was incredible. Um, but then unfortunately, there were just different lockdowns um, in the States. So we had um, a three week period in Adelaide where we were just chilling in Adelaide for a bit. Uh, and then we were due to get touring again. But unfortunately, with all the lockdowns, restrictions introduced, we just had to we had to just call it a day and come home, unfortunately. But I know that that tour has plans to go out again in the future, just once things ease up a bit out there. Did you have something like 45 shows you were going to do and you only got to do a few? Well, we were meant like to be, we story, were meant to be, I was meant to still be over there. We were meant to be touring until the end of November. Uh, so we managed, we only managed about two months, a month and a bit mm. out there, unfortunately. But the time we did have out there was incredible. Um, and at least we got to, you know, we, we got to make the most of it while we were out yeah. there. Um, so I know hopefully they'll go out again and they'll get to do it right. Had you been over there before? Australia? No. no it was your first time and there. it was my dream. Her absolute <laughs> dream. Oh, was it? That was one of the places you just wanted to Australia go. Australia yeah. has been one of the places in the world that I'm literally just obsessed with. It's the most incredible country. And it, yeah, it was, it was very disappointing to have to come back. Well, it's but still a great experience. If you're incredible, in the, yeah. and it's not going anywhere. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all kangaroos. Did Neve. see loads of kangaroos, loads of kangaroos, so, and ate loads of Tim Tams. They were fantastic. <laughs> had you been over to Australia? Had you done much traveling? I said no, not as much as I'd like. No, busy raising children. Okay, so you are doing the traveling for, for what you didn't get cruised, to do, is it? Though. I have cruised. I was going to say, I did get you onto the cruise ship. Oh, nice, yes. yeah. Um, oh, I, a Caribbean cruise. Caribbean cruise, yeah. nice. Leah was a performer on... Um, on the Seabourn Odyssey, yes. Uh, Amy's also done cruise ships as well. She did Royal Caribbean. Uh, but Mama managed to join me on... Um, In heaven. On the Seabourn <laughs> Odyssey whilst I was there a couple of years ago. So that Beckway was... Beckway Island. Beckway, yeah. Beckway highlight for me. Princess Margaret Beach. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like it. And how many floors on the cruise ships and all that? Mine really? was tiny. So mine was only like seven decks. Amy was like a floating city. Yeah, we had, we, like, we had two theatres. We had a shopping centre. There were like, ours was just a city. Mm. But it, it used to take something like 25 minutes to walk from one side of the ship or to walk from one end of the ship between the jigs and the reels and getting up in crew areas and down and blah, blah, blah. It used to take 25 minutes to get from my cabin to the gym, which was at the other side of the thing. <laughs> so you'd have to like, <laughs> it was huge. Yeah. I, I've never I've never been on a cruise like you know, but I've gone on cruise, cruise ships just when they docked in Dublin. I'd gone mm. on and played and just uh, doing a show oh. for them and I'd come off or whatever. Like, you know, but just the food like you know when they sort of yeah. like, like we were just eat whatever you like and I'd, I'd say it's dangerous yeah. if you're on it. Whatever you like, yeah. whenever you like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and the choice of it like it's just all sp just spread out everywhere yeah. like you know it's just. 
how life should be. So. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like, you know, but we might be put on a few pounds over over the, the pandemic. I don't know what it'd be like if I had that all the time. Like, you know. <laughs> um, you have a show coming up, which is not too far from me in a couple of weeks. And I thank you again for it's like last minute because we only found out yesterday that you're going to come here because we got someone called in sick. Like, and also, thanks for doing it. But you were delighted to have the opportunity to do this, Absolutely. as I suppose just to do a show before your actual live one, which is in the Mermaid's Arts Theatre. Mermaid yeah, Arts. Tell us about it. Yeah, Arts Centre on the 19th of October so not too far away yeah. uh, it's the three of us uh, our dear friend Chris Curridge is going to sing he's going to guest and a dear friend of ours uh, Kieran Olin who was in Australia with Leah um, uh, and accompanied by the incredible Connor McCarthy on piano and we have a cellist called Yu Tang he is from the RT concert orchestra and he is insane incredible just incredible so so excited. So I'd say so. <laughs> Great I'm to be back, isn't it, girls? Yeah. It's on a Tuesday, is the 19th on a Tuesday? Yes, it is a Tuesday. What time is that? 8 o'clock. 8, Eight o'clock. Yeah. 8 o'clock. I hope to get there myself, even to see it. Like, it's great know. to get support from Chris and that as well, like, you know, to come along and, and to, to a special guest as well. Like, you know? yeah, super. Like, um, to find your music, I was asking you, Sarah, have you plans to record stuff or release stuff or that? Are you, are you gonna, like, what, what, is your, what are your plans? Well, that will be the next. We're, we're slowly building up to it. You yeah. know, I think. Um, Certainly before the end of the year, we, we want to get started on, on a recording project, yeah. don't we, ladies? Yeah. Now, I've said it now, and it's recorded it's official now, and so it's official. Done. Yes. Noted. <laughs> we'll make sure to send you a copy so you have proof, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so you plans, have... Hopefully, watch the space. Be, so, you're gonna, so the, the idea is you're going to record it before Christmas and release... <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm still, <laughs> do you know what I always find though, like if you're going to record something like, you know, I always find if you put a date on it, it'll get done. If you don't, it'll just go on the long finger and it'll never ever happen, like, you know, so. You're dead right. I think it's been about six years now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're joking, like, you know. <laughs> we kind of always talk about it and then we get busy and then we, we get busy. We're, like Someone's said, we're end lucky. up like in another country. So we're like, oh, we may wait. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you just have to do it now. You've right, said it, tomorrow so you morning, do it. what are you doing, girls? <laughs> <laughs> So to find yourselves and for to find if you're going to be doing more shows that, like Facebook pages, yeah. uh, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. Uh, I think we're all sort of. I'm at Amy Penston Music. You're at Leah at Penston, Leah Penston. At Nia Penston. Same on Facebook. Um, we're Penston. easy yeah. enough to find. Yeah. You, have, you don't have the Pensons like. So, so no, we don't no. have it. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, brilliant. Yeah. Like, no. Well, but. folks, look out for it, and I'm delighted because we're going to. And rehearse Yay. song together ourselves. Get as well. Which is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Me and three beautiful ladies on the stage. Oh. What more can I ask for? You know. <laughs> Come, we give it a blast. Thanks very much, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go. <laughs> trying to remember these <laughs> No need speed. Suits you. I'm on here just waiting on the guitar to kick in. Oh, there we go. Um, we roughly went over a song earlier, roughly. and we're going to try it again. As I said, we only get or the girls only inform us that they'd be able to do it tonight. Um, yesterday. <laughs> so we're going to do a lovely song called Caledonia. Why I feel 
Thank you very much, ladies. Brilliant to have you on, and I hope to see you again soon. As I say, come across Christmas, we'll have you back off for maybe a charity one, if we can. Folks, don't forget to tune in next week, same time, same place, 7 o'clock, and we've got Rusty music. So looking forward to seeing you then. Thank you.